welcome back to your channel. I am Adina Leanne, also known as Mistress underscore Glanberry. Now, I do have two Instagrams now, and I think you may have saw that on the little clip before I started talking. So, if you would like to follow me on both of them, one is I am Adina Leanne, and the other is Mistress underscore Glanberry. So today I'm here to talk about some products that I purchased with my own money from Even New York. Now you may be familiar with the Even New York Edge Tamer that's like all over the internet. It's a really great product. It holds my fine hair down and they don't slip out and escape and try to run for the border. Um, and then um, the product is, you get a nice amount in the packaging. I do love this um, one that I have is the Ultra Super Hold. And the reason I get that is because, like I mentioned, my hair is so fine that it just starts giving after a little while. But this really holds them down in place and they're not just loose, flying all over the place. Um, I believe that this was $7.99 for this is a... I was trying to avoid putting on my reading glasses, but it looks like I might have to. Oh, four fluid ounces. So this is four ounces. Um, I did not purchase this, however, online. I got this from my local beauty supply store, and I've been buying this for quite some time. But one day I was in a beauty supply store, and then I saw something that I did not know even, or is it Evan? I don't know how it's pronounced, so I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. I did not know that they had makeup. So I have these, three of these I purchased. One of them um, was sent to me in error. Uh, the one thing I can say is their customer service is A1. It's perfect. They, ans they answered my email immediately. Um, and then they sent me the correct one right out. Um, it, went, it took maybe four days for it to come. Um, and it was FedEx. It was not USPS. So this one is the one that I had purchased but they accidentally sent me a different one so I'm just gonna go in and talk about the palettes for right now so um, I purchased three again like I said it was three of the palettes um, they come like this in their own separate boxes each of the boxes had like some bubble wrap in them um, I purchased these back in April and I'm just now getting around to using them yeah, that sucks. So, but you know, <laughs> everything that's been going on, um, I just hadn't felt like putting on makeup and playing in it. That like they deserve to be. <laughs> These palettes are really beautiful. So, um, I'm gonna put my reading glasses on because the type is small, which is understandable because it's on a palette. So the three. Well, I'm just going to talk about all four. I'm not going to keep going into which ones I received because I purchased and which one was the error one. It really doesn't matter. I now have four palettes. So one is called God is Treasure, Golden Empire, Cleopatra's Love, and then Egyptian Sunset. So the wording is on the side, of the, like the back of the binder of the palettes. Then each palette has its own unique covering colors. Even though the pattern may be the same, the coloring for each one of them is different. And then each of the little, like, Egyptian ladies that's on the front and the cats appears to be just a little bit different. So on the Egyptian sunset, that's this one. So this one, you see what the lady on the palette looks like. She's um, in a, like, an orangish color tube dress. And she has her two um, Egyptian cats. So when you open the palette, now this one is the one that has a mirror. All of them do not have mirrors, but this is the one with a mirror. And um, then it also has this little protective sheet. So then the colors in this one, there are three down and four across. So it's 12 shadows in each palette. This is the one that I used for today's look, so that's the one reason why I started out with this one. And I used um, five of the shadows in this one. I used Sundown, which is this middle color on the end. And then I also used Desert Dusk, which is this bottom deep brown color. Then I applied some of Sunbeam on the middle of my eyelid. And on top of that, I put some of Sun Days, that, which I have stuck my fingernails in quite a few times. I've smoothed them out, but 
it's on my fingernail now. But uh, and I'm not a swatching person, um, mostly because swatches seem to be done with fingers, and it's like that's too impossible for me to get a good swatch without damaging the palette real bad, sticking my finger in the nail in it. But I don't know if you can see that, but that's just a little that was on my arm, my fingernail. So I put that on my hand right there, and then I topped sunbeam with sun days and then i put a little bit of this real glittery uh radiant radiant light so those are the five shadows that i used today from this palette which is egyptian sunset the next palette um is cleopatra's love and i'm sorry if you hear my fan but i have all these lights on and it's 92 degrees outside um air conditioner is not going to suffice. I need the air, the fan blowing on me, so I'm sorry if you can hear that noise. Next one is Cleopatra's Love. Um, the lady on the front of this one has a green tube dress with some neck embellishments and some other items on her, but you can just see that there's a little difference between that one and the first palette that I showed, and each one of them has their own unique clothing on. Um, this one again, 12 colors, beautiful shades, this one does not have the mirror. I don't know the reasoning behind which ones have mirrors and which do not. Um, but um, I'm thinking the ones with the glitter on the palettes have it because the one that I just showed you had glitter on the palette and the other, the last three that I have do not. So there are, again, 12 shadows in this one. The pigmentation is just really great. I did get a chance to play with this one um, I believe when I first got it, but that was the first and only time that I used any of the palettes I tried them out. Um, like, for me, swatching on your hand, I have some ladies that I follow, and they do such beautiful swatching. However, I don't apply eyeshadow with my fingers, again, because of my nails, and, um, I just don't, like, applying shadow with my fingers unless it's something that has like a creamy texture and it really needs to be applied with a fingertip but this one again is cleopatra's love and it has like a kind of a burgundy-ish theme to it burgundy and red um this these do have carmine uh, which i am really allergic to so i'm surprised i did not have a really bad reaction with these um, I was well aware that they had Carmine because they had it on the website when I purchased them. So that was my decision. No shade at all on even Evan. Um, they, everything, everything about my purchase was perfect for them. The website worked just fine. Um, the customer service again was fantastic. Um, the only error was they mistakenly sent me the wrong palette. I don't have any problems and they didn't need me to send the palette back, which I appreciated because of the situation that we are currently in. You know what that is. But um, I think I would have felt some sort of way about a company saying, send an eyeshadow palette back. Um, just there's multitude of reasons why I wouldn't feel too great about that. The next eyeshadow palette is called Golden Empire. This one also does not have a mirror on it has the same little cover sheet um this one i believe would be great for someone who loves neutral shadows it has really great shimmery shadows it looks like of the 12 six of them have um some sort of glitter or a shimmer to it and the other six are matte and i really want to play with osiris which is this really deep black color um, they extremely pigmented, um, so my suggestion is don't dig your brush into the eyeshadows. They will get onto your brush very well without you digging into them, and that will prevent you from having any fallout. But again, um, Golden Empire, it has a lady with a white outfit on. This one I really believe would be great for someone who really just likes neutral eyeshadow colors if you like a, um, some glitter or shimmer looks this one would really be beautiful um i really want to play with each one of these and get some different looks up the last palette that i have is goddess treasure um this one has another white 
outfit on it, but it is different from the last one that I showed you. And um, these shadows, don't, this one does not have a um, mirror in it as well, but it does, again, have a protective sheet in it. These are really unique colors. Um, this yellow, I did try putting it on the one day that I did the one eyeshadow look. The, I, the yellow did not go on patchy. It, w it went on very smoothly. Now, I do use an eyeshadow base, um, different ones, but I do use eyeshadow base. And so sometimes it seems like using an eyeshadow base can either be pro or con. You know, it'll like sometimes stick to the eyeshadow and then not wiggle around and, and blend seamlessly. Or you have, or you do use the um, eyeshadow base and it will help. So, I mean, it depends, you know, it's a plus minus situation. I guess you have to kind of play around with it, but the yellow when I applied it did not go on patchy at all, but there are some very vibrant colors in this one. And um, I, again, can't wait to play in this palette. Um, Myrrh is one of the shadows I really would like to try out. I, again, I did try Ocean, it's just the yellow shadow, but you can see none of the other ones have been used or at all but um, I really can't wait to play in this palette as well. In addition to the eyeshadow palettes, I did order two lipsticks. One is called Bling. That's the shade that I have on my lips right now. And then I have another one which is called Purple Kisses. It comes in a black tube with a, uh, this one is, is a glossy color. This one is a matte. So the gloss, <coughs> excuse me, has a glossy cover and then the purple one which is a matte shade matte lipsticks come with a matte cover um, glossy has a silver trim and the matte has gold trim um, I have not tried the purple one yet but again I have this red bling on right now it's not sticky um, the color when I put it on, it went on one swipe. I and actually I was able to press my lips together with the one swipe and almost cover both of my lips with the one swipe that I you know went across. And I'm not talking about swiping one way and then once again going back. I did one swipe across and pressed my lips together, and I basically had enough color for both lips. And um, these again I, I can't wait to try the purple because I, I have some purple looks in mind that I want to try it out with and um, so I right now because I've only used the red one I'm super pleased with that the next thing I purchased was this Evan I hope I'm not killing that name Evan New York sculpt and contour palette I love it because it has a cool shade and it also has like a bronzer shade now on the back it has to use the like your you know the way to use it with the warmer shade being put along your nose and the cooler shade along the sides now i do it a little differently from that um i like to use the cooler shade on my nose because i really wanted to have like a a shadow to it more for contour and then i blend the bronze more brown um, warm shade with the cool shade for like my uh, or the perimeter of my face uh, to just give it a little more warmth since the foundation I've used has given me like a blank canvas and then I blend the two together it gives me a good combination of shadow and bronze especially in the summer I like to have like a more bronzy look and um, it's not powdery it is pigmented um, I what brush did I use I use this um, Echo Tools fan brush to apply it to the, you know, to my face and um, like around the perimeter. But I do use a different brush to apply it to my nose. It's a smaller brush. Actually, I'm not certain if it's an eyeshadow brush or not, but this is the brush that I use to apply it to my nose. And then I just, you know, blend that out. And um, it works for me that way. But I really love this palette um it's a nice amount of product in it a lot of times you'll get some of these like dual uh, dual uh, packages and they'll have so much packaging it won't be a lot of real product in it but there's a nice amount of product in it and it's not uh you can see where the it's like a thin 
uh, separator in the middle. It's not a fat one, so it makes it seem like you're getting a lot of product, but you're really not. But this one is a lot of product, and um, I, I have been using this, although I had not gotten an opportunity to use the eyeshadow palettes. I have been using this for a while, and I'm in love with it. I know I'm going to have to order another one before I hit pan because by then it's going to be too late. The last thing that I purchased is this holographic highlighter. Um, this one is Cosmic Gold Dust. So it comes in a package like this. It's not a twist lid. It's a pop-up lid. Since I have this fan going, I'm not going to open it. But I can't help myself. I have to open it. Now this one I will do with my finger because I'm not going to pull out the um, brush that I use. But this is what it looks like on my finger. And then when I swatch it, it does have that holographic effect to it because when you turn your hand it kind of like this or you know it's like it's on your face it kind of disappears for a second and it comes back so I really do it's I mean I love this I've been using I've been using this one for a while also and usually I'm not really a uh, cakey like using a lot of highlighter but this one has me like doing the most with it I can't help it because it's just really gorgeous um, I felt that all of my purchases were worth my money. It was budget purchase. Um, they did have a discount code. I'm not certain if they have one still, but I used that so they did knock some money off. And it was a nice amount of money. I'm not talking about like 50 cents or something like that. It was like 2 or $3 knocked off of the purchases. Now, the other thing I did purchase, but again, this was not my part of my purchase that I did online. Um, I wanted to try these natural cat cat eye 3d eyelashes this is what the package looks like but i have the lashes on right now and um now i was real fearful <laughs> about using these because i suck at putting on thick band lashes however the bands on these lashes although they are semi-thick they're not as thick as some of them i've tried before that kind of like ping pop right up the second that I put it on. I mean, I, and I know, you know, to keep let the glue get kind of tacky before you put it on. No, that did not help me in my situation at all. They ping, ping, pinged all over the place and I was like, okay, I'm not even going to fool with these anymore. But these, I will purchase some more of these because the, I want to try like some the different styles. Um, I do like this style, but I like a wispy type um, of lash, so I am going to see which other ones that they have, but I purchased these at the beauty supply store. Um, it wasn't the same day that I had purchased this edge table because I already had that. But uh, while I was at the beauty supply store picking up some other stuff that I had no business picking up, um, I picked those up. And really, I, these lashes, I really love them. They're really pretty lashes. The eyeshadow went on really well. I hope you can see the glitter on the on the center of my eyelid um, I've been fooling around with this mirror I was supposed to put some decorations on it hasn't happened yet um, but yeah so those are my purchases that I made on Evans website and also from the beauty supply store where now I did find these palettes for they and they have more than just these four there's I don't know how many are on there and my tablet is over there charging so I and I'm not about to go over there try to get it if you go on their website I'll put the website in my description um, and you go on there and take a look around you know go in the store look around but what got me to purchase them online was because the one that I really wanted was I know which one it is it's this one it is the Cleopatra's love palette I swatched Juba 2 while I was at the beauty supply store. And oh my God, my heart was not broken that this was the most beautiful eyeshadow when I swatched it. I started swatching all, uh, as many fingers as I, as I had. I had my granddaughter with me and I was here, give me your arm. <laughs> swatching them on her. My daughter's just looking at me and she's like, you need help, and, which I probably do. But um, <laughs> I was trying out the eyeshadow swatching on my granddaughter who isn't here she got a lot of nerve not being here to harass me while i'm doing my video and my daughter 
went to went and left me too nobody wants to be around me anymore maybe i'm a stinky girl but <laughs> anyway so um that's it for this video actually i did this video for my friend latruitt um she said that she wanted to know of some good eyeshadow palettes to purchase and this is my suggestion right now i really think that if she, she would you know like to do like a neutral kind of safe look again golden empire um with the more like neutral shades does have shimmers you can create some really beautiful eyeshadow looks with these um if you would like to could you comment below and tell me which of these eyeshadow palettes would you like me to do a look on on you know do a video on so this again is golden empire that's the neutral looks um this one is egyptian sunset this is the one that has the mirror and this is the one that I have on currently. If you would like for me to try to recreate this eyeshadow look, just let me know that you want to see um, Egyptian Sunset. I'm trying to put the plastic back in here so that I don't have to do it later. This one is the Cleopatra's Love. That's the one that, I, that got me started on wanting to try these. It's Cleopatra's Love. And then the last one is this real colorful eyeshadow palette. This one is called Goddess Treasure. So if you could just, in the comments, say which one you think would be a good eyeshadow palette for me to do a look on, I could do that one for next Saturday, I mean next Sunday. My plan is to do either, a, you know, talk about some sort of makeup items or do a look on Sundays. And then on Wednesdays, that's going to be for my Mistress Glam Fairy, Mistress underscore Glam Fairy page. And then on Wednesdays, do um, some sort of nail related video for the I Am Adina Leanne page. So again, if you would like to see a look with um, one of those palettes, let me know which one. I'll put the names in the description as well as Evan, even New York um, website so that you can just click and go and take a look. Uh, it's a really good website. It operates just perfectly for me, um, especially on my tablet, which only has Wi-Fi, so I, I'm, you know, kind of like reliant on my Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know about you, but Wi-Fi does not always like me. I would prefer to do it on my phone, but it's bigger on the tablet. You know, I can't see. So anyway, that's my video for today. I hope everyone has a great Sunday or the rest of your week. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know. Everybody take care. Be good and be beautiful.